Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. It's Michelle. These are my colors tonight. I'm gonna to be doing another cloud pour. This is golden green gold. This is a mixture of Modern Masters and Oyster and Pearl White. This is Amsterdam Professional Series in Permanent Violet Dark Opaque. This is Amsterdam Expert Series in Permanent Violet Red. And this is about three different golds. I'll try and remember which ones they are. So, we have our deco art mix. I am going to go ahead and prep my canvas by putting some Artist Loft Flow Acrylic straight out of the bottle. Just to let the um, paint adhere to the sides a little better. I'm going to try and keep this in frame and not crooked. I have a hard time with that. I really do. So yeah, that's the reason why we do this is we, um, we want to make sure our um, sides are a little tacky so that they can hold the paint. Because once it starts running off it, it, um, it makes them very, very, because these are thin paints, it makes them almost disappear, all the colors. So it's nice to have a little bit of something something on the sides and I am going to this paint this up uh, canvas takes 23.5 ounces of paint uh, we're going to be laying down one two three four five colors probably an ounce or two of each I think I just got a bug um, and then, so I'm going to put fit 16 ounces of cloud mix down for right now and see how that works. And here's my handy dandy milk bottles. I just love these things. They're so easy to clean. All right. There's 16 ounces. That should be enough for this canvas. Here we go. Very thin paint. The thinner the better. Of course you have to have some actual paint in there <laughs> or it just won't work. All right. Let me put these aside so I don't spoon. Because I've been known to do that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the gold. The gold usually doesn't react, but it might be something to... Sometimes it's good to have some colors not react, so you have some contrast between the, um, the curls and the, the curls and the clouds with the color. Yeah, see, that's just plenty of paint. And here it comes down. Now we have to make sure there's not too much cloud mix on here because if there is um, it doesn't work as well so I'm just gonna try Wow so 16 ounces of cloud mix is probably too much for this um, let me double check this to make sure let's see how much this is running off It's still running. We do want it really thin. I will be scraping my um, my surface so that I, I can use it in another pour. What colors do we go with first? Well, I always like putting the gold next to the permanent violet red. I am going to start with a little bit of this oyster and then put the gold over top of that. Uh-oh, it's up a blob. There we are. 
nice big blob. Okay, and then, ooh, I'm gonna file it red. Then, which side do we want this on? I think we're gonna do it on this side. Whoops. We'll try to keep the purple and the green separate. <clears throat> Just want a little bit of green because that really, really reacts. It just takes over the paintings. Green is known to do that. Um, usually doesn't matter what kind of green. All right, this looks interesting. Okay, I'm going to see where the weight of the paint is. It looks like. Okay, I'm gonna take it back down. I'm going to bring it all the way over. Can you guys see that? I hope you can. All the way over. And then we're going to bring it back. Still a lot of paint on here. Let's see if we can get some cells. Let me turn this around so I have more control. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. And you have a better view. Colorful. I see a big line of cloud paint moving down the canvas, so I do want to get that off, or at least close to off. And I'm starting to get some wonky cells up in the corner. So, oh, I almost bumped into you guys again. <laughs> I keep doing that. I only have so much room to work with here for these canvases. I'd love to be able to paint outside like Miss Vina does, but I have issues with heat and wind. And um, in South Florida, there's also humidity. So I'm gonna try to take this all the way down. These, I might, wow. I'm not sure I like all of these squigglies. So I might put some more paint down and tip it off again. Um, there's purple on there now. partial to the permanent red violet with the gold so that's what I'm going with. I'm gonna put eh, maybe a little bit of all right let's see what this brings. Oh I just my elbow on it. Yeah, this is gonna be better. Wish I would've put the gold underneath. Eh, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I wanna stretch it back so I can get some cells. know if I'm going to get any cells there. What I might do, okay, this is interesting. This has been on my mind and there was um, a painting I did recently where I, I swiped and then I tilted. So now I've tilted, I might swipe now. Let's see how this works. 
especially over the gold. Oh yeah. I'm liking that a lot. And I'm dipping it, dipping it into the, the drippings on the canvas. my yard. <laughs> it's called a, a raccoon deterrent. Let me try. This is, okay, I'm loading up this with a little bit of white. That's the pearl and the oyster. Then I don't want to get it too close to the canvas, so and then I'm going to put the <clears throat> the gold on top. Then I'm going to put the permanent red violet. You know, I did that backwards again. Ugh, whatever. I'll try it. So, what don't I like? Right here. Interesting. Wow. Wow, that's really interesting. All right, I'm going to do it one more time. Put some white on. This is just drips from the um, canvas. And then a little bit of the permanent violet red. Put it right over this gold. Now it's pink. <laughs> we'll figure it out. down at the canvas there. All right, that's kind of cool. There's all sorts of kind of cells. Okay, that's kind of what I was going for. The last time I did this, I got the cells and then I stretched them out and then they, they went away. So, yeah, guys, gold just does not want to. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see what was going on up here. Holy jeez. Oh my Lanta. All right, I'm going to put you guys, wow, that really reacted quickly. Um, I'm kind of liking that purple over there, but I'm kind of liking what's going on here too. It's very organic. You can see the color coming through. Um, the purple does react well, I have to admit. So, why don't we so this is what I do when I'm on <laughs> when I'm on uh, time lapse. I talk to myself. I don't know that that's going to sell because it's already stretched out. But if we put some. I'm making a mess of things. Can 
you blow on it too, guys, you get um, you get cells. Oh, that's looking pretty now. Yeah, I like that. All right, I'm gonna play with it. I'm gonna put you guys on um, time lapse and um, we'll see you in a few.
Hey guys, um, wow, this one has really evolved into something so pretty. I'm going to call it Hello Spring. It's beautiful. The colors, oh, they're very springy. Um, wow. The gold turned out well, better than I thought. Um, looks like I was able to edit the video so you can see it better. Look at that corner. I just love that little corner. It's so cool. And then a lot of these um, places right here, they kind of look like watercolor. Um, these cells are to die for. Oh, I love it. And see how it, you can, it's like transparent. You can see through the white. I am in love. You can see a little bit of the gold sparkling through there. See what I mean about the, the permanent red, violet, and uh, the gold mixed together? Oh, it's my favorite. Just my favorite. Anyhow, these got a little wonky. What would be our world without a little, without a little wonkiness in it? And they are the gold mixed with the green gold. And it made this really cool color. And I got cells where the gold is. Very unusual. Doesn't happen very often. That's a super stretch, I guess. But I mean, these colors remind me of spring so much. Loving it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please be safe and create. Ciao for now.